Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we are going to check out another of the brand new PNSO releases, as we have Jeff the Chronosaurus here to take a look at. As far as the box art goes, straight away the image here on the front shows us the incredible Chronosaurus that is held within this box, and the image looks fantastic. I think PNSO did a beautiful job on the sculpt of this figure, and I love any time they release any more marine animals, marine reptiles. They've released some of the best in the dinosaur collecting community and they will probably continue to do that moving forward and this chronosaurus definitely looks like one of the best if not the best versions of a chronosaurus out there as far as the rest of the box goes if we turn it over here we have some words over here that state we present jeff the chronosaurus to you because we think that it deserves your trust to make friends with jeff the chronosaurus should be a meaningful decision so i believe that's actually the same thing that was on the andrea box and then over here we do have the PNSO logo, as well as up here it says dedicated to Jeff the Chronosaurus and everyone who has a strong mind and act as the champion of life. We continue to strive to live a splendid life. And then down here, of course, it does say Jeff the Chronosaurus, as well as 135th scale scientific art model. And then as we go around here, we have the same stuff, of course, in Chinese. Same deal back here. So if we lift it up here on the back, we have some more information as well as a really cool silhouette of the Chronosaurus right there. So let's go ahead, break this out of the box and take a look at it. So as usual, we have a really cool booklet included, which does have the PNSO logo right here on the front. And then once we open said booklet, we have a massive image of the Chronosaurus. And look at how impressive that is. Like that is just unbelievably well done just a gorgeous interpretation of a chronosaurus and then as we move along we have some information in chinese on the left page here on the right a fantastic shot of the head sculpt with the mouth open wide of jeff the chronosaurus and then once we come over here we have a closed mouth version of jeff the chronosaurus and then some information here in english on the opposing side and then a really nice image, kind of a poster here on the inside, sort of, of Jeff the Chronosaurus, as well as the skull over here. And I apologize if you hear my dog just running around like a lunatic upstairs. I don't know what he's doing, but he's just going nuts right now. But there's also another dog up there that he's playing with, so I guess that's what he's doing. But then here we have just an insanely nice image of the Chronosaurus again inside just beautiful artwork as always. I love anytime PNSO includes some of their artwork because they continuously release some of the best artwork that you will ever see as far as paleo art goes. And that is just incredible looking. And then as we continue along, again, another image of Jeff right there, as well as some information in Chinese. I'm trying to get through this a little bit quicker. And then we have the English area over here, as well as some more fantastic artwork over here again of Jeff that is just just mind-bogglingly beautiful right there so a fantastic booklet again on the part of PNS so I love that they include these a little different a little bit more to them when you get the museum style models as opposed to the kind of more mainline models from PNS so just amping up the overall presentation of the set a bit more with these larger booklets and then as far as the figure goes, we have two stands, just like we usually do for most of the PNSO models that kind of help balance. But in this situation, it's not just to help balance, it's actually to help hold the figure up because, of course, we have a Chronosaurus. So if we get these kind of in a good spot for our model to sit on, there you can see Jeff the Chronosaurus, and he is just beautiful, really, really nicely done. Like a very impressive sculpt and beautiful paint application. I love the coloration that they've chosen for the model. Really nice natural coloration with the light underbelly, darker upper side. So it's straight away something you would expect to see on a marine reptile. And the sculpt in general is just insanely highly detailed from what I can see. A lot of movement shown and just in general a lot of really nice fine detail. And that head sculpt is just really something to behold in hand man that is just super super nice so let's go ahead we're going to jump straight to a closer look and check out this fantastic chronosaurus from pnso so starting with the head sculpt of jeff the chronosaurus you can see that the actual texturing to the face is phenomenal you have a beautifully painted eye right there really nice greenish coloration as well as kind of a alternate tone of green a lighter tone of green and then a black pupil 
very nicely glossed, but the majority of the figure actually sports a really glossy look, which I actually do quite like. The jaw is, of course, articulated, and it's super, super nicely articulated, like really smooth articulation. Once we go inside the mouth, man, every single time they get me, no matter what it is, the insane amount of detail that PNSO includes on the insides of the mouths of their figures just it pretty much makes my jaw drop every single review and that is a perfect example of it especially because we can now see the inside of the mouth a lot better whereas we normally kind of have like a smaller mouth of a dinosaur or something so you can't really take in just how nice the actual detailing is at times but this mouth is a very large one it's open very wide and you can really see how incredible the inside of the mouth of this figure is really nicely painted with a pinkish coloration given a beautiful wash of like a red or a darker pink and it just makes everything shine so nicely there's also some variations of white and stuff in there like specifically up here but you can just generally see it throughout the entire figure like you could see areas of white poking through as well as the light pinks and that darker pink it just looks super super nice the tongue is beautifully textured as well and the teeth all look fantastic as far as both the sculpt but also the paint like they are really nicely sculpted very carefully all sculpted individually you can even see how insanely nice these very small teeth are and then as you lead out here into the tip of the snout the teeth of course get bigger and they genuinely look sharp they of course are not but they look sharp which is definitely nice as far as a display piece goes and the teeth are interlocking so once you close the mouth they all mesh together perfectly and it just looks super super nice as far as even the closed mouth version just fantastic on the part of pnso all around you can see some nice variation of color here to the chronosaurus as well as you have some lighter and darker shades of grays as well as like some whites and stuff showing up you can also see down here and the grays are actually kind of it looks like they're almost outlined with a black in certain areas which looks really really nice on the model man it's super super lifelike you can see the nostrils sculpted out up there i love this glossy look to it too it just really makes the entire model so visually appealing as you move back into the body the skin texture continues to just be insanely well done you could just see so much as far as the actual detailing to this chronosaurus like cracks and crevices throughout the body of the chronosaurus as you move down into the flipper you could see how that darker gray runs out into the flipper but then it transitions to a white coloration which looks really nice it's actually a little bowed right here i'm not sure why i'll have to give this some hot water and uh, cold water trick to get that back into place but you can see again as we move along the chronosaurus that the very nice very fine detailing is super super nice you can see the spinal column running along the back of the chronosaurus but again on something that you would expect to have nice smooth skin you can see that they found a way to include just an absolute mountain of detail within and it looks super super nice wow even the underside is insanely highly detailed i love how there's like some splotchy areas of the gray showing up in certain spots as well and also some alternate coloration back here you can see like a pinkish coloration right there in the cloaca and then as you lead back up here you can see again the detailing of the rear flipper is fantastic and you can see like imperfections to the sculpt it doesn't look like it's just you know that perfectly created in a lab type of an animal like you can see that this is a wild animal it's been surviving on its own and it shows kind of like a very realistic appearance to the flippers again showing off all of the imperfections potentially like damage and stuff that the animal has received over the years and again the detail does not cease it looks phenomenal everywhere as you lead out into the tail really nicely sculpted out tail of our chronosaurus the underside is just fantastic the paintwork is also fantastic even on the underside a lot of the time you'll get kind of just like a pure white or off-white underbelly but this one has the gray the darker gray that kind of runs down and stripes through in certain areas and it's super appealing to the eye i really love the underside coloration as well and then if you take a look here at the opposing side again it just looks incredible as far as the detail goes it just looks super super nice there's really nice texturing to the body lots of wrinkles and creasing going on again showing off the movement of the chronosaurus beautifully 
The flippers look great over here. You're not going to see too much difference on this side compared to the other side because it's not in any type of a crazy position or anything. You can see the head is lifted up a little bit and then we have a slight curve to the body and then the tail is in a downward curve. Even the flippers themselves aren't super different as far as the positioning of the body. It almost looks like it maybe has just stopped for a second to kind of look around and weigh its options as far as where it's going to go next. But again, a fantastic model from PNSO and I love this Chronosaurus. Definitely my new favorite Chronosaurus in my collection. As far as a size goes on our Chronosaurus for a length you are looking at about 10 inches or about 25 and a half maybe closing in on 26 centimeters. You're not really going to get much for a height. If you go for a height based off of the way it's sitting on the base to the well it's not a base it's the pegs but to the top of the snout you're approaching four and a quarter inches or around 11 centimeters but again if it were just laying down on the floor on the ground on the table wherever you want to put it the size would definitely be a lot different because of course the pegs are holding the chronosaurus up into the air but as far as a size comparison goes there is mr papo t-rex the attack pack colovasaurus and robert muldoon from the mattel jurassic world toy line in comparison to pnso's jeff the chronosaurus and you can definitely see that although the figure does sport a really nice very impressive size it's definitely not one of the largest of pnso's marine reptiles that's for sure however it does again still sport a very impressive size regardless and an overall very impressive appearance and hopefully you can see that here in comparison to these other figures and then for a second comparison here is jeff the chronosaurus in comparison to quite a few of the other marine releases from pnso as you have quite a few here and obviously the mosasaurus down here would be the largest of the bunch and that's probably the one i feel like most people would like to see the chronosaurus in comparison to but again this should probably help to show that the chronosaurus does have a very impressive size but man do all of these pnso releases look so awesome together so this PNSO Jeff the Chronosaurus is another fantastic release and again I don't think I'll ever say anything different from PNSO because they do not release anything short of absolute beauty continuously. This is a fantastic looking Chronosaurus and quite easily in my opinion after actually taking a closer look at it I am quite confident that it is the best Chronosaurus in my collection and I now have no question about that. The sculpt is phenomenal, really, really nicely detailed throughout the entire body. It is super highly detailed, showing off every ounce of movement, but also just some really nice texturing to the skin and the structure of the body. Like it's all really nicely displayed in the sculpt, but the head sculpt, in my opinion, is my favorite area because it is just so nicely done. There's just so much really nice coloration up in the head, beautiful application of the paint as well really nice very smooth and realistic application and once you open the inside of the mouth that is just otherworldly beauty right there it is just incredible as far as both a detailing and a paintwork standpoint goes the overall paint application of the model is really nicely done and again the tones of color used in my opinion are picture perfect for the species really nice very realistic tones of color and all perfectly applied in a very nice realistic way making the entire figure look like a living animal honestly before me it is just incredible how alive this model truly looks you also have those pegs to hold the model up. I would have kind of preferred something a little bit flashy or maybe even like a little base or something to put the Chronosaurus on. You can always customize one, make it yourself if you would choose to, but the pegs do work quite nicely for the figure either way. It stays on there really nice, very solid. It doesn't fall over or anything, so the pegs do serve their purpose perfectly, but it would have been cool to have kind of like a little base or something underneath. But again, the pegs work great, so it doesn't necessarily need it. The Chronosaurus, though, again, is a fantastic release, again, from PNSO. So if you are interested in picking this up, make sure you check the description because I will include a link right there to, of course, the Amazon PNSO store, as well as Dan's Dinosaurs, where you can purchase this for yourself. One way or another, I highly recommend picking this up because it is insanely nice in hand. So make sure you do just that. Make sure you also like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.